and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today at Gudubia Palace with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed the financial and economic situation and ways of enhancing development in the economic process so as to support the Comprehensive Development March. Their Royal Highnesses affirm that the challenges imposed by the national economic situation and by regional instability require new mechanisms and procedures to make the national economy more dynamic and immune to different challenges. The meeting also reviewed a number of ideas that could support national development and economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudubia Palace today a number of representative and Shura Council members in the presence of the President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Salim Al Khawari, and several, several senior state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed that the parliamentary experience in Bahrain and the tremendous efforts of MPs deserve appreciation. He affirmed that MPs represent an authority that speaks for the people as they were elected by the people. He stressed that the legislative authority must be appreciated and respected and should only be subject to criticism that is objective and in the best interests of the country. The meeting also reviewed national and international issues, with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister saying that the region is witnessing a state of unprecedented instability which requires unifying national efforts. He noted the relationship between the government and the Council of Representatives, which is based on a strategic partnership. He said the Kingdom's political, economic and development achievements were grounded in the cooperation between the two authorities, in line with the reform project of His Majesty the King. The Prime Minister stressed that the people of Bahrain are one family, pointing out that anyone trying to incite sedition or division would fail, thanks to the unity and loyalty of the people of Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today at Gudabir Palace with the Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, Hu Lin Zhao. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was presented with the ICT in Sustainable Development Award 2015 by the ITU Secretary General. The award was announced during a ceremony last September at the United Nations headquarters in New York in recognition of the Bahrain government's achievements, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in making large strides in the development of information and communications technology, or ICT. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to Mr Hu Lin for his efforts and contributions in spreading technology and dedicating it to the service of sustainable development goals. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain has become a model of achievement in the fields of comprehensive and sustainable development with a modern vision and national initiatives that help to improve living standards. He noted that the Sustainable Development Awards received by Bahrain from the United Nations and its specialised bodies honour the long series of accomplishments that have been made under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the tremendous contributions of the people. He added that Bahrain would continue to keep pace with modern ICT technologies and employ them to serve the efforts of national sustainable development and also to strengthen Bahrain's status to attract investment and encourage the IT industry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in Bahrain's regional and international status in this field and especially in internet services, mobiles and data. He congratulated the ITU Secretary General on the Union's 150th anniversary commending the organization's pioneering role in enhancing international cooperation efforts in the field of ICT. For his part, the ITU Secre Sec Secretary General affirmed that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister had achieved a lead in developing ICT in Bahrain by developing an advanced and modern infrastructure. He said the ITU's decision to grant His Royal Highness the award recognized his contributions to the ICT field he stressed that the government of Bahrain has made Bahrain a leader in ICT development according to the ITU's indicators on IT development for 2015. He also commended Bahrain's development in various fields, which reflects the kingdom's keenness to achieve comprehensive development in all aspects of life. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudabir Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The cabinet applauded His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's inauguration of the event to name a main avenue in Jaffer after the late His Royal Highness Prince Saud Al Faisal, as directed by His Majesty the King. The Cabinet said that this honour recognised the late Prince's firm support for Bahrain's security and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to all the government authorities that contributed to the event's success. The Cabinet praised His Majesty the King's speech when he received the President of the High Authority for Media and Communication, the Ministry of Information and Parliamentary Affairs and employees of the Information Affairs Authority at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Cabinet commended His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's patronage of the ceremony to lay the foundation stone of Al-Ahliya University's new building and emphasised the government's support for universities and higher education institutes in the Kingdom as key factors in the development of human resources. The Prime Minister then directed the Ministry of Housing to continue coordination with the relevant authorities responsible for services and infrastructure to finalise housing units in Domestan to ensure that the needs of Domestan residents are met. The Cabinet meeting also discussed memoranda submitted by ministries and ministerial committees, including a memorandum relating to the National Authority of Qualifications and Quality Assurance for Education and Training, which includes the results of the 21st and 22nd performance auditing 
of educational and training institutes in Bahrain. The Cabinet also approved a memorandum regarding an application to register and open an office for French residents in Bahrain. The meeting reviewed two memoranda related to air service agreements between the governments of Bahrain and the Czech Republic and between the governments of Bahrain and Georgia. In addition, the meeting took note of a number of draft proposals from the Council of Representatives. Following the Cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs, Issa Al Hamadi, held a press conference in which he outlined the issues discussed by the ministers. He said that the Legislative Authority had presented a number of proposals to the government, including development of the clock tower roundabout in Rafah, which was discussed today by the Cabinet. He added that the Shura and Representatives Councils have legislative and monitoring powers and can work in line with the Constitution in this regard. He stressed the government's commitment to handling all proposals presented by the Legislative Authority in accordance with the specified constitutional period. The minister said the meeting also discussed accelerating the finalisation of services and infrastructure facilities of housing projects to prepare them for distribution. And with regards to the issue of some suspended journalists, the minister affirmed that the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs, in collaboration with the Journalist Society, would perform their role if approached. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the Secretary General of the International Telecommunications Union, Hulin Zhao, in the presence of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that Bahrain has realised the importance of developing the information and telecommunications sectors to serve the goals of comprehensive development, which add momentum to economic activity and contribute towards achieving sustainable growth. The Crown Prince commended the role of ITU in coordinating international efforts to develop these fields, stressing keenness to enhance cooperation with the ITU in order to reinforce the competitiveness of this sector and ensure the safety of its regulating legislation. He noted the rapid development and high reputation of the telecommunications sector in the Kingdom, based on comprehensive development standards which rely on the principles of justice, openness and transparency. For his part, the ITU Secretary General thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for meeting with him and commended Bahrain's interest in reinforcing the role of telecommunication and IT. He also wished Bahrain further success in developing efforts and strategies in this field. The 13th Asian Cross Country Championship was launched today and the patronage of His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa and with the attendance of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the Kingdom securing first place in all categories of the Asian Cross Country Championship. The Kingdom of Bahrain was crowned winner of the 13th Asian Cross Country Championship with a medal tally of four gold, four silver and three bronze medals in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that hosting the event displayed confidence in the Kingdom's ability to host regional and international championships. He also hailed the outstanding efforts of the Bahrain Athletics Association, led by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid, in hosting such a major Asian event. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa expressed pride in the Kingdom's achievement, which reflected His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's constant support to the youth and sports sector, in addition to the numerous efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, through implementing projects to develop the youth and sports sector in the Kingdom. He added that this achievement reflects His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in establishing a number of strategies aiming at developing the youth and sports field in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the outstanding performance of Bahraini participants in the championship and praised the excellent work of the organising committee in hosting such a major event.
And now we have Mohammed with the latest business news. Thank you, Esther. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,178.23 points, a decrease of 4.08 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investments, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 70% of total shares. 39 transactions included with 1,792,805 shares worth 154,931 BD. And now it's time for the latest sports news with Fatma. Thank you, Esther. Very good evening, you're watching the sports news on Bahrain Television. Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder has confirmed that Bahrain National Stadium readiness to host the most precious His Majesty the King's Football Cup 2016. The minister visited the stadium along with Bahrain Football Association BFA's board members and ministry officials. He was briefed about latest preparations in all stadium facilities. He toured the various parts of the stadium, including the main facilities, to ensure the best services to spectators in the grand final match. On behalf of himself and all Bahraini sports people, Al Joder hailed His Majesty the King's patronage of the final match.